My name is Brian Young, and I'm from the Full of Sith podcast, and I write about Star Wars for a number of different outlets, including StarWars.com, Sci-Fi, and How Stuff Works. I'm teaming up with Star Wars Explained to, well, explain some things. Namely, the napkin bomb incident. Back when Ryan Johnson was developing the story for The Last Jedi, even before The Force Awakens had been released, he'd been working with the Lucasfilm Story Group to flesh out what had happened in the galaxy to put it in the position that we see it in when Episode 7 starts. According to Pablo Hidalgo from the Lucasfilm Story Group, Ryan Johnson came up with the, quote, disposition of the New Republic, its political factions, and the napkin incident. And these were handed off to Del Rey and author Claudia Gray as she got to work on the novel Bloodline. Set about six years before the events of The Force Awakens, this book really shows us the beginnings of the Resistance as well as the first snaking tendrils of the First Order as they enter the galaxy. So what is the napkin incident, and why is it important, and why might Ryan Johnson have come up with the idea? Well, I'm glad you asked. The napkin incident was an assassination attempt on the life of Senator Leia Organa during the throes of a bitterly partisan campaign to elect a new chancellor-like position called First Senator. On Hosnian Prime, where the government was centered at that time, Leia was attending a breakfast meeting among her political faction to discuss her candidacy and whatnot. And as she sat down, she noticed that there was a paper streamer beneath the napkin on her plate and it had writing on it. And I quote, actual writing. Virtually nobody wrote any longer. It had been years since Leia had seen actual words handwritten in ink on anything but historical documents. But today, someone had left this message on her plate. Only one word long. Run. Leia shoved her chair back, instantly leaping to her feet. We have to get out of here, she said to the startled senators at the table. Now, go! And this note gave Leia the head start she needed to survive the assassination attempt on her life. It turns out the attempt on her life was organized by front groups for the First Order. And this was a pretty standard assassination attempt, even reminiscent a bit of the attempt on Senator Amidala's life in Attack of the Clones. So why would Ryan Johnson want it included in the canon before the release of The Last Jedi? Well, there are no definite answers, but a number of tantalizing dots to connect. First, in The Last Jedi, we see another attempt on Leia's life. This time, it's the First Order themselves, led by Leia's son, Ben Solo, turned Kylo Ren. But Kylo can't bring himself to kill her. There's a connection there that he can't break, though his fellow pilots share no such hesitation. We know that killing his mother is still a bridge too far for the darkness welling in Ben. It's reasonable to think that he would have wanted her spared in the previous attempt on her life as well had he known about it. But that's when we have one more clue that makes us wonder if he was the one who warned his mother during the napkin bombing incident. In the Visual Dictionary for The Last Jedi, there's an entry for Ben's calligraphy set, pens and wells of ink. But they aren't just in the dictionary either, they can actually be seen in the film itself. During the flashbacks of Ben's turn against Luke when he summons his lightsaber, the calligraphy set can be seen plain as day on his night table. In a galaxy where virtually no one writes by hand anymore, Ryan Johnson saw fit to give us a handwritten warning to Leia's first assassination attempt and tie that visually to her son as a writer of actual words, handwriting, with ink and paper. In stories, and in the Force, Qui-Gon Jinn tells us that nothing happens by accident. And I, I believe him. I want to thank Brian for putting this video together. This all came about because he pointed out the link between the note and bloodline and Ben's calligraphy set in the movie to me on Twitter, and it blew my mind. I wanted to talk about it, but since Brian first explained it to me, I thought it would be better to have him explain it here too. Like he mentioned, Brian has a podcast called Full of Sith, and he writes about Star Wars all over the place. I'll put links to everything in the description. And I'd also encourage you to follow him on Twitter because he tweets really insightful stuff about Star Wars every single day. So yeah, please check out some of those links in the description. You won't regret it. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter as well, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.